how to get long stock with less risk and less capital. That's why it's a crowd favorite. You can get long stock, you can control 100 shares of stock, less risk, less capital. Who, who doesn't want less risk and using less capital? Okay, so it's called the zero extrinsic back ratio. We didn't Next name slide, it. please. We didn't name it, viewers did. Just gonna yes. put that out there. Yes, yes, yes. We didn't yes. name it, viewers did. We called the zebra, the zero extrinsic back ratio. It's actually, Jenny, uh, let's, let's, how many of these do you have in your account right now? Oh. I always have a handful. I, I have probably five different underlyings with this position, with this strategy. Yes. So it's a way to control stock and you're, and you're, you're putting a lot less buying power into the position. So in my IRA, when I want to make a directional move, I will exclusively use zebras. I think that's a great point because right. if you're buying Personally. stock in an IRA, it's control, it's cash secured, yep. it's cash secured. And if you're selling stock in an IRA, guess what? You can't even do it. I was like, it's ca I was like, it's cash secured. You can't do <laughs> you it. You can't even do it. You can't even do it. So this allows you to create a short stock position in an IRA or get long stock without being cash secured. Right. So this is the the overview. Uh, the zebra is near 100 delta stock replacement strategy with all the upside profit potential, but a fraction of the risk compared to owning 100 shares of stock. It is a two by one ratio spread where you're long to short one. Uh, you're long two in the money options, short one at the money options. That's the difference. Most of the time we put on ratio spreads and we're long one, short two. The zebra were long two, short one. And it might sound a little tricky, uh, but we're going to go over it in depth momentarily. Okay, so it's a, the directional assumption is you decide. And please keep in mind, it's a stock replacement. So let's go to slide two and three, take a visual representation, and then we're going to uh, yeah. watch a short video. Yep. Okay, so uh, moving on to the next slide, we have um, the PL graph. graph of the bullish zebra. You're buying two 70 Delta calls and selling 150 Delta calls. Usually, I place these anywhere between, you know, 15 days to 60 days out. I could even get crazy and go out a couple months. Guilty as charged. I've done them for a full year. It depends on the price of the stock and what I'm paying for the zebra and right. how long I want to hold my stock for. So this is this is the world is your oyster. You choose your your expiration dates with this, but you're going to mm -hmm. control 100 shares of stock, bullish or bearish. Bullish or bearish. And uh, this is the PL graph of a bullish zebra using all calls. You can see your profit potential. Unlimited. It is unlimited. It is unlimited in the, for the time frame that you have. The slide didn't go as far as I <laughs> like it. It could have gone. I should have had an arrow going up. Infinitely. But yes, and then you'll notice that your risk is defined. Now let's look at the bearish version of this trade. Um, very similar. You can make money unlimited. Obviously, you're, it's limited down to zero because uh, stock can only go to zero. And you are capped on the upside. It right. Defined so risk to the upside. Defined risk to the upside and unlimited profit potential to the downside. Yeah. Uh, where you're buying two in the money puts, you're buying two in the money 70 delta puts, selling one at the money 50 delta puts. And just to clarify things, we're gonna actually play in bed in this, a very short video that is on the Tasty Live site that we have walked through very slowly. This will teach you everything you need to know. Welcome to the Liz and Jenny strategy series. We're going to walk you through some of the most frequently asked questions we get about the strategies on the Liz and Jenny show. In this episode, we are going to go over the zebra, which stands for zero extrinsic back ratio. This is a stock replacement strategy for traders with limited capital or trading in an IRA account. We like to use it in a low IV environment as a way to hedge our portfolio by adding short deltas or as a scalping method. It's essentially a synthetic stock position with a 50% probability of profit when set up properly. Profit targets on this strategy are subjective and dependent on your reason for placing them. With that being said, let's get into the setup of the trade. If we're bearish and want to create a short position, we would buy two 70 delta puts and sell one 50 delta put. We choose these deltas because the extrinsic value we are selling will offset the extrinsic value we are buying. We use options that have anywhere between 25 and 45 days till expiration. Let's pull up an example on the platform. First, sell one put at the 50 delta strike. Then, buy two puts at a 70 delta strike. Doing this will replicate short stock, as you can see when you pull it up in analysis mode. You 
can see we make money one to one as the stock goes down starting at 302 where the stock is currently trading. Our max loss is the debit we paid to place this trade. In this example, our max loss is $1,300. Let's take a look at how we would manage this trade if it goes against us. For example, let's say that we put on a zebra to get short on SPY when it was trading at $294 for $12 and the stock moves against us to 302. It's now trading around $7. It's a losing trade. Our long options are now at the money and have $483 in extrinsic value. This is when we need to use that extrinsic value and reestablish if we want to continue a short position. Exactly. Because if the market stays right here at the 302 level for the next 36 days, you would lose all that extrinsic value and reach your max loss. If you want to continue having the short position on, you would need to use that extrinsic value to your advantage and sell out your two longs that are at the money and buy back the short. If there are less than 21 days left, then I would reestablish in the next cycle. Since there are 36 days left, we'll stay in this cycle. To keep things simple, I would sell that 303 put as my new strike and buy two 70 deltas at the 309 strike. It's important that you keep your long options in the money. If we are bullish on the stock, we could create a bullish zebra using the same mechanics but using calls instead of puts. Let's pull up an example. In this example, we're going to sell the just out of the money option around the 50 delta, which would be the 157 call. Then we're going to buy two calls at the 153 strike, which is closest to 70 delta. This trade has a one for one unlimited profit potential, just as if we were buying the stock. Our risk is defined by the amount we paid to place this trade, which in this case is 843. This trade requires active management if the stock moves against us, because we wouldn't want to lose $843 if the stock were to go down to 153, because we would only lose $400 if we had just bought the stock at 157. So if the stock drops to 153, we would close out this position by selling our long calls and buying back the short call and reestablish the position the same way we put on the original trade by selling one 50 delta call and buying two 70 delta calls as long as there are more than 21 days until expiration. Again, this trade is simply a way to replicate a long stock position using less capital. If you were to buy the stock where it's trading right now at 157, we'd be using 7,855 in buying power compared to just $843 with the zebra. So if capital is not an issue, I would always buy the stock. It's the cleanest way to get long. To recap, this is not a high probability trade. This is a stock replacement strategy that has a 50% probability of profit, just like stock, but without the capital requirements. Profit targets are subjective on this trade due to the fact that traders use this strategy for a variety of reasons. Remember, management of this trade is key. Keep your eye on the deltas. Welcome back, everybody. We figured we would, you know, do something. It was edited and slow, and everybody can kind of understand a little bit more. It's tricky. Options can be tricky, so I felt like that was a great way for people to try to keep up with the strategy. Now we're going to walk through two examples, one bullish, one bearish. One bullish, one bearish, and we're going to jump in the platform and mm -hmm. actually show exactly what we're looking for in real time. So okay. let's jump into the platform, and so we can see it. Let's make the numbers crystal clear and go full screen. Here we have IWM. This is the ETF. Uh, the Russell ETF. So to put this on, I'm going to use a monthly cycle and I'm going to skip over December because they're only 29 days to I'm going to see if we can make this platform bigger, if we could possibly do that. That'd okay. be great so that we can make sure that everybody can see the numbers because we're going to really kind of get into the weeds. Okay, perfect. Uh, we're going to go to Jan with 64 days, and I'm going to put on a bullish zebra. Liz, what were the mechanics? 70, 50 delta, 70 delta. Sell okay. 150 Delta, buy 270 Deltas. Okay. And Jenny, I actually got to give you credit for this because we were filming that and we just used to say you wash extrinsic value. And Jessica, who's great, kept being like, I need a Delta because people need a Delta. I need a Delta because people need a Delta. And Jenny just goes, 50, 70. And it works every time. 
It seems to. <laughs> it seems to. That was luck. But uh, well, it, I just, but it isn't because you know you're going to replicate. You want to be manipulating X amount of shares of stock. So it's good. People want the delta. Originally, when we did this, you're just making sure you're washing extrinsic washing value. Washing extrinsic value. Yeah. And this will show you what we're talking about here. So if I sell a 50 delta, here's the 50 delta right here, 51 delta, close enough. If I sell that at the money, selling one of those, I'm selling 545 in extrinsic value. And if I move to the 70 delta and I buy two six. 168 calls, I am buying, you can see, about 238 in extrinsic value twice. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do is make sure that we're washing extrinsic value so we're not, so we're giving ourselves a 50-50 chance. We don't need the stock to go up in order to recoup uh, the extrinsic value we'd be giving so up. So it is a true stock replacement, right? So all mm -hmm. we're trying to do is lots of people say, why wouldn't you buy a call? Why wouldn't you go out and buy that 176 call, Jenny? Just that one. Because that stock has to go up $5.45 before you don't lose any money. That's right. the washing of the extrinsic value. So by washing that extrinsic value, and get it, giving ourselves, buying 270 delta, selling 150, we're giving ourselves a 90 delta. Here's our delta, 89.85, 90 delta. This is going to act like 100 shares of stock. If the stock goes up, we're going to make money one for one. If the stock goes down, our only risk in this trade is what we pay for it. So if the Russell crashes, we have no more risk in this trade than $1,610. Which... If you are pulling up the stock, it's going to be $17,559. In so, an IRA, yes. In an IRA. This is yeah. a cash-secured account. So this is what we're talking about with these. These are This is an IRA where you can control 100 shares of stock for a fraction. It's literally a tenth, almost... A, a tenth of the cost. A fraction... A, a tenth of the cost. It's not always a tenth. Sometimes it's a little bit different. Right. But yes, a fraction of the cost. You get one-for-one one profit potential if you owned it now it is defined risk, meaning that if IWM falls out of bed and falls all the way to 130 uh -huh. in this next days, you are only going to lose $1,600. Oh, I was, I'm going to go, I was going to go to the analysis page Ooh, and like show you what we have here. Curve view analysis. Here we go. There you go. Here is the debit we're paying for it, that $1,600. There's our risk. We're capped. And we have one for one profit potential. For every dollar IWM would go up between now and 64 days, this would make $100. Yes. It's like owning 100 shares of stock. And a video for another day, which we will go into, is the ratchet. There is something that you can do to continue to take risk off the table as it goes up, but that will be tabled for another day. Maybe next week. Yep. Okay. So that is a bullish, a bullish, um, Zebra, zero extrinsic back ratio. Now let's put in, let's go to triple Qs, something, which, change it up a little bit. Which I'm glad that you brought up this point. You cannot go in in an IRA, to the best of my knowledge, and say, I'm going to sell 100 shares of stock. No, I don't think it would let you. Um, you can sell a future, you can sell I believe, a future. but you can't go, I don't, you can't, I believe in an IRA you can sell a future, but I, you cannot go in and just sell um, an equity or an ETF. I don't think so. I don't know. Um, I okay, I just, I just jumped into my IRA. I just wanted to make sure that we were putting our money where our mouth is. Uh, yes, you cannot sell stock in it. Yeah, we, I actively trade my margin account. I'm not, and the trades we put in our IRAs are a little bit different. Right. So I'm going to go, same thing, going to go out to January with 64 days. And walk me through it, Liz. So same same mechanics. Everything applies the same. You're going to be selling 150 Delta call and buying, put. I'm sorry, puts. 150 Delta put and buying 270 Delta puts. 70 okay. delta in the Let's money put. Let's let me find. Here we go. 70 delta put. This might be a little more expensive, and it is. Well, it's a higher price product, so you can do it. It would be cheaper in IWM, number one. But number two, it's always more expensive from the short side because of the put the put. Well, scale. you that's I'm glad you mentioned the higher price product. So higher price products in in the if we were using IWM again, it would be similar. Yeah. But we're looking at a higher price product. So um and that's why it's $2,166 versus controlling 100 shares of triple Qs in an IRA would be very expensive. 38000 38, but, but you still can't do it. So whether yeah, it's 38000 or do it. <laughs> you couldn't do it. Yeah, so the, the same principles apply in the fact that you're selling 150 Delta, buying 270. You're controlling about 90 Deltas again of short Delta. It is mm -hmm. capped. Keep in mind that you can only, your only risk is the debit that you outlay for it, as you can see right there. So no matter how high Triple Q's goes, our risk here is this $2,162 that we pay for this Zebra. And again, we say pay for it. We're paying a debit. We're long two options, short one. We're paying for this. Uh, but you can see our profit potential begins right where the stock is 
demonstrating. And we'd make $100 for every po- point, every dollar down that the triple Qs goes. So one I, for one. I think the zero extrinsic back ratio is probably one of my favorite traits, minus the lizards. We do like those two. But this has been um, a game changer for me because of, number one, the manipulation, uh, not manipulation, or management tactics, which we will t- table for another, another, day. another day. But it is a great stock replacement strategy especially in a cash secured account. I mean, I, you know, the Jade Lizard is our baby. We created the Jade Lizard a decade ago. Um, but I, I am going to say it. I actually like the Zebra better than the Jade Lizard. I like the Zebra better than the Jade Lizard, too. They well, they're more, there's more they're different. Do. One's a premium selling and one's a, I want to control 100 shares of stock in either direction. Right. Yeah. Yes. But so it's easier for me. I think people that are just starting out or are, you know, managing their own IRAs or taking that into account can kind of understand this because what do you want to happen? And everybody asks this, Jenny, what is your uh, what is your profit target on this? If you are going out there and going to buy 100 shares of stock, you and you have in your mind, you know, why are you buying that? Is it a long term? You can put that zebra further out in time. Is it short term or even putting on a bearish one? Is this a hedge? You know, how long, what's your profit target? If it's a hedge, you would keep it on as long as you want that hedge on. And the the nice thing about this, in an IRA, most people have a bullish portfolio. You throw on something like this, it's giving you 100 short shares of triple Qs, and your risk is only $2,000. We always say you never want to lose more on your hedge than you make on your portfolio. Get on your hedge. Right? You don't want to lose more on your hedge than you make on your portfolio. But if the market's going up, this is defined risk. Or if the market's going down, this is going to offset some losses. It will. That it will. So they are they are great. Um, once you can kind of understand this as a stock uh, profit tar- mm-hmm. or as a stock replacement, I only ask about the profit target. I don't think there is. I think it's in, it, individual. I think it's individual, but I I say, where would you sell the stock? That's exactly what you would ask yourself. Where would you get out of a stock stock trade that you did? If you're happy with your profit, you would get out of this. It's that same concept. Right. Is it just an overnight play or is it um, something that you want to have on long term? Right. And you could go further out in time with this or you could put them on monthly and then just keep moving them. Yes. Yeah. They both work exactly the same. You just have to be able to manipulate it. Uh, So, Liz, I think I think uh, it was a good a good welcome back IRA options uh, segment going over the zero extrinsic back ratio. Way to start strong. This won't be the last time you hear of it too because it is a great it's a great little addition to the IRA. So, all right, everybody, have a wonderful day. We'll be back.